Yeah. It is Michelle C with Candid Kisses TV everywhere you need to be, and I am here with the one and only internet sensation Shula King. How you doing? Good. Go ahead and shout out your Instagram and all that good stuff real quick. Alright, this is Comedian Shula King. Follow me on Facebook. My public page is Comedian Shula King. That's S H U L E R K I N G on Instagram. Shula King, S H U L E R K I N G. Now, is that the government or that's your stage name? That's my stage name. Y'all ain't okay. getting the government. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Excuse me. No, nah, you can get it. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't need to do all that. If that's what you want to go by, go on go by it. No, 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 no. They need to know my, my real name, too. Okay. My real name is actually Frank Williams. Okay. Yeah, Frank E. Williams the third actually. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. I'm from Sumter, South Carolina. My family has a funeral home called Williams Funeral Home in Sumter, South Carolina. Oh, but Carolina. you got that loan, though, because people die every day. I ain't, hey, look, I ain't got no kind of money. <laughs> I don't want you to think that. It's some money somewhere, but I ain't got it. I okay. Just don't want you to, yeah. So when did you go viral? How long have you been, like, doing a comedy thing? I've been comedy for uh, almost 15 years. Gotcha. And as far as going viral, I think the first time I went viral was, I think, in, if I'm not mistaken, 2016. Okay. Yeah, I think it was 2016. Um, I did a video about Melania Trump. When mm. She stole. Uh, when she. Oh, she stole that whole speech. Michelle's mm -hmm. speech. Yeah, I did a video about <laughs> about that, and it uh, got a million in about a week. You know what I mean? That was the okay. first time I had ever like it. You know, because it was a hot time. I like I really yeah. I wasn't internet savvy. It was just something I did, and it just. Took took off. Off. Yeah. yeah, and then I was kind of, you know, teeter tot and then I just wanted to kind of keep doing stuff. And then I think the next time I went viral, I really couldn't even tell you. It was like hit and miss. Okay. You know what I mean? And then um, one of the biggest videos I did was the most recent. That was, it was this year. Mm -hmm. um, the one I was talking about, Donald Trump not getting invited to the White House. Yeah, the one that my mama kept inboxing me about. Yeah. I was like, this man is so funny. He's hilarious. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. mama, I get it. You like him, okay. Yeah. And I didn't, like, <laughs> honestly, I thought that the content I was doing, a lot of the stuff I was doing prior to that wasn't funny. Okay. I was just trying stuff. And to be honest with you, I didn't think that video was funny. Oh, she thought it was hilarious. She sent it to me three Man, times. Everybody thought it was funny. I'm <laughs> the only one who don't think it's funny. So and I did that. And it just kind of took off, and it made all the other videos blow up. Oh, yeah. All it takes is one? Yeah, it was just one. And I just looked at it, and it, it's at 20 million now. Oh, that's wonderful. Like, it just took off. And then, because yeah. now I got calls from London and everything. Like Dang. somebody. Yeah, because I have a website up, and, okay. you know, I'm accessible. Cool. You know what I mean? I've had a website. I've put up a website since 2008. Yeah, I'll take that always, one spark to get you lit. Yeah, and the next thing you know, I got this guy from London. He's like, oh my goodness, Sheila, mm -hmm. you are hilarious, man. We have to get you out here. <laughs> and I'm just like on the phone like, am I, just, am I talking to this man? Right. You know what I mean? But, you know, things are working. And I mean, it's like two different plugs I got in London now. So That's good. May 15th, I'll be leaving to do a show on uh, May 18th with Kyle Morgan. You know, we going to London. All right, you now that's what's up. Be international. You know. Well, I was, you know, traveling. Um, twenty sixteen was a year that I actually um, started doing international shows. Okay. I had, had a, uh, my boy Dave Martin, who's another comedian out in Charlotte, told me when I was a, you know, really like a like fresh, fresh. He was like, "Hey man, you funny? Get a passport." Yes. And you know, and th this is how it lets you know how ignorant I was. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what a passport was. Stop playing. He asked me if I had, but I was young. When I started doing comedy, I was like a teenager. Yeah, but everybody but knows I, what a right. passport is. But that's why I said, <laughs> let you know how ignorant I was. But okay. I was like, I was a different person. I got In you. a different headspace. And he was like, you got a passport? And I was like, nah. Okay. And he was like, you got to get a passport. Because I just thought you flew to other countries. I didn't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the people that I was running with, nobody talked about a passport. Well, I was, my mom was a flight attendant, so I was blessed to know at an early age. Yeah. <laughs> so was my lady. All you right, man. I mean? So, but no, nah, I like the, the circles I was running in, nobody was talking about yeah. passport flying overseas. None of that. Okay. You know what I mean? So, you know, I had to change my circles, and that's, that's a whole other story. I feel you. So with yeah. the with the whole viral sensation in the stand up, have you switched over to the acting thing, or are you just sticking on the stand up nah, right I've been, now? I've been working on acting for a long time. Okay, so have you done anything uh, recently? Commercials yeah, or? Oh man, no. It's the same as the comedy. It's just been a grind. Okay, you know gotcha, what I mean. Gotcha. I mean, I've done some. I've done uh, some movies. Mm -hmm. I did. Um, was it? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, Pierre had a movie. He, he did to slice. slice. Mm -hmm. I, was I remember in, that. Yeah. I was in slice too. Okay. You know what I 
I mean? And I, so the premiere of Slice 2 actually when I met Rodney Perry. Um, but yeah, I was in Slice 2. I've done, uh, oh man, I don't know, I can't hit stuff, I can't even think of. Well, you done did enough to get your grind off of that right, automatic. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. So My let me resume ask you is not all that. What is your most memorable moment on stage thus far in your whole lineup? Oh man. And you did great tonight, oh, they, you had them kill, you was killing Thank you. Thank you. My most memorable moment on stage. It's a, it was a bittersweet moment. Okay. The most memorable moment I had on stage was in Roselle, New Jersey, at a, um, at this place called the Cavalier. Mm -hmm. And um, what happened? It was Bob Sumner's birthday. Anybody know know Bob Sumner is one of the producers of Def Jam. Mm -hmm. You know, he discovered all of the talent, know, talent him yeah. and Tina Graham. So it was his birthday. I didn't know who Bob, you know, like I was still fresh okay. in the game, but there was a person who went up. He had a bunch of comedians go up. One guy went up and he rocked it. Like he killed. Then got off stage. The guy who brought me there. We, like I was, we were standing up against the wall. Like it was some steps behind us. We were standing up against the wall. Mm -hmm. He walked up. He was like, "Yeah, this is my man. I played football with him." Yada da da da. Shook his hand. He shook mine, and he started making his way up the steps. And as there was another comedian on stage, and all of a sudden we hear this little commotion. Okay. You know, back here, and they finally turn the lights on. We turn around, and he's like laying out like unconscious. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it was just kind of like it just threw everything off, like the whole party was just like, yeah, like what's going you on? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like he was unconscious. We had to wait for ambulance. I mean, everything was just terrible. But you know, he had later passed, but he had not passed that night. Okay. But you know, so they wheeled him out and all that stuff. And then Bob was like, "Well, you know, we gonna pray for this brother, but you know, they say the show must go on, so we gonna pray for him, but we gonna keep da da da." Yeah. But, and then there was another comedian came up. But you could imagine the atmosphere in yeah, the place. Yeah, yeah. Because you know everybody's trying to do good. Now After they got that, that big now, shocker. It's like, yeah. now we got this, and this was just like, it just took the air out of everything. Mm -hmm. But one guy went up, and he didn't do so well. And of course. So now, after that and somebody bombed, now it's like, like oh. Everybody shit. nervous, they don't know what to do. <laughs> so of course, they're like, all right, well, we just go keep rolling, you know, uh, mm -hmm. next up. And of course, everybody else knows each other. All the right. comedians, they running in the same circles that I am the oddball. I don't, nobody know me. <laughs> right. He was like, uh, yeah, uh, Shula, Shula, right. yeah. And people was like, <laughs> like if the night couldn't have gotten any worse, I'm next. Right, know? right. But got up there and did my thing. Though. That's right. That's how you got to keep it going. Yeah, that was crazy. Wow. I mean, that was, I'm I mean, sure. I could tell you a couple of moments. I'm sure. I could tell you a couple of moments, you know what I mean? I mean, that that come to mind, you know, but that that was the most memorable because that was like the most dramatic. Yeah. Like it went from one end to the other, to from to people like just being like, oh my gosh, I think he's dead, to like just falling <laughs> yeah. out laughing. Yeah, you know that's a I mean? big extreme from one yeah, to the next. Yeah, it is. Like <laughs> in a matter of like 20 minutes, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you, what was your first, like your first time on stage? What was it like? Because I know a lot of times people get up there and you get comfortable with the crowd, but your first time on stage has to be, in, in my opinion, I would think it most of your nerve wrecking, like bubble guts, everything. Well, I don't know about bubble guts, <laughs> right? but the first time, the first time I performed on stage, actually, I have to be honest with you, that whole process of it was me, it was how I knew that this was something that I was supposed to do. I was a freshman in college. Okay. And I used to work at the music store in the mall. And everybody kept saying, yo, man, you funny, man. You need to be a comedian. You need to be a comedian. Okay. And, but I'm in Sumter, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. There's no comedy club for me to just walk to, drive to, get to right. you know, ride a bike, nothing. There's, you know, the comedy world was not accessible to me. Okay. But, when I decided in my mind that I was going to do it, that's when the opportunity actually came to me. Mm. So that was one of the, because like everybody else was like, oh, you know, it was a comedy club over across town. And yeah. There ain't no damn comedy club across right, town. Right, right, right. I decided in my mind, I was like, you know what? I told my brother, my brother Wesley was the first person I 
said that I told that I was going to do it. And he was like, you sure? And I'm like, yeah. And when I decided in my mind I was going to do it, I think like that next week, I was at work at the music store, and the opportunity came to me. It's a promoter named Ike was promoting the show. This is how long ago it was. He was handing out flyers. Okay. On a yellow, like it was like a yellow paper mm -hmm. with the black ink. Oh wow. It was Barbara Carlisle. <laughs> he didn't even big get the Kenny. big print yeah. out. He just got the, it was the yeah, it was like a big, it was, was a big sheet of paper, but he was handing them out. Like yeah. going from store to store, you know okay. what I mean? And there wasn't no Facebook, none Old of that. Oh school. Yeah. He was just doing, you know what I mean? And um he came in there and was you know, was promoting the show and I started asking him so many questions mm -hmm. about, I know this is a long story, but okay. I started asking him a bunch of questions about, you know, comedy. Okay. Like, not doing my job and irritating him. Right. And he just kind of looked at me, he was like, you a comedian? And mm -hmm. before I could say no, because I was going to be like, no, because I wasn't. Right. The girl I was working with, who was one of the people who kept telling me that I needed to be a comedian, mm -hmm. she was like... Somehow, like right there, ear hustling. With that, with that. Uh -huh. yeah, you know what I mean. Ear <laughs> hustling. He asked me, and she was like, before I could say no, she was like, yes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, I had to. I was like, listen, you know, man, I really was just thinking about getting into it. Right, but, right, right. And he wrote his number down on the flyer, said, you know, whether you, you make up your mind, you figure out whether you want to do this or not. Give me a call, I put you on the show. See, she so, done gave you your blessing. Right. So, like I said, the opportunity came to me. So, I called him. And told him, yeah, man, I want to do it. I had not written a joke. I didn't know what I was going to say. I didn't know nothing. Yeah. And then there was nobody. Not only was there not a club, there was nobody there to even say, hey, come here. Let me show you how to, you right, know right. what I mean, how to do this. You had to figure it out You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just started writing stuff down that I, it was in my head. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I mean, I was nervous from the time I called him mm -hmm. until the show. Okay. Like, three days. I was like, <laughs> I didn't even tell nobody I was doing it. You didn't get your friends out there? Hell though? no. I was like, I got <laughs> nah. I don't want y'all to talk about nah. it. Like, nah. Like, we got to see how this go first. I, I, I know that's you right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing this. Nah, yeah. uh -uh. I'm not going to put my, I'm not going to do that to myself. <laughs> so I uh, I called him, told him I want to do the show. He said, all right, cool. I'll give you three minutes. My first show was at Shaw Air Force Base in Southern South Carolina at the NCO Club. I did three minutes. And I did good. Okay. And Big Kenny walked up to me. He was hosting that night. Barbara Carlisle was headlining. And another comedian, Sugar Bear, was the feature. Uh, and he passed away from cancer uh, a few years ago. And uh, But he was like, Kenny walked up to me and was like, man, he's like, I can tell, you know, you, you really got something. Yeah. And I was... Just freestyle so all day long. Right, right. You know what I mean? No, nah, it wasn't freestyling. I was, man, I stood perfectly still. Okay. I did not move. <laughs> like, no, because in my mind, I was like, if I move, uh -huh. I'm going to forget everything Every that I'm supposed to. I'm like, I'm going to stand you had still. that practice in the mirror stare. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> when I tell you, like, the, but the funniest thing happened. Mm -hmm. Before, when I knew I was next, my heart was like. <laughs> of course. <laughs> But when I heard my name, mm -hmm. it all went away. Wow. Like, and it happens like that every time. And it was just, I just wasn't used to it. Yeah. Like, yeah. when I when I know when it's time to walk on stage, it's like a... Because, I mean, because comedy is hard. You think, you tell my, oh, do three minutes. I'm like, three minutes ain't nothing. Three, oh, that's a lifetime. Three minutes is a long time oh. if you don't know what you're doing. Three minutes. Baby, is all you need days. is one boo, and it's going to be a boo tsunami. I promise oh, you. man. <laughs> Man, you but that was that was the first time on stage and Kenny was like, Listen man, if you ever need anything, let me know. He's like, Man, you funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, Kenny and then come to find out like later on, you know, he's my frat brother now. Okay. Yeah, because before then I wasn't a cute he you know what I mean, our players and then, you know, find out like we frat brothers. As a matter of fact, yeah. me and Kenny did, you know, we've done shows together. The last time we worked together we was in Kansas City for an Omega event. Yeah. Oh. Well, on this show, we have, before we end the show, we have a quick little game show called Kiss or Diss. So I'm going to throw out some names out there, and you're going to say whether you would like to kiss or diss them. Mm -hmm. All right. Here <laughs> <laughs> we got. Here come the bush. <laughs> nah, you got my lady in the room. And and I know, but, but this is celebrity be, crushes. There ain't going to be something that you're going to get beat up about. No, nah, you, uh, you don't know. Huh? Oh. Shit. No, it's just all you ain't going to beat them up, are you? Let's go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Nah, Sierra she, or Chili of TLC? Kissing or dissing? Uh, 
Well, I'd probably have to go with Sierra because you can't get close to Chili. I seen the uh, the show What Chili Wants. Yeah. Shit, Chili, shit, you can't get. I, I know you gotta I can't be get vegan, you gotta be. <laughs> Yeah, you got to be. <laughs> you got to be a little bit of Jesus with Obama and y'all. You got to work out every morning at five o'clock. Yeah. Like, God damn. Yeah. All right, Holly Berry or Beyonce? Beyonce. Okay. Like Holly's cool. Yeah. But. Uh, Beyonce, Holly. Okay. Yeah. Viola Davis or Indy Ari? Viola Davis or Indy Ari? Mm -hmm. Shoot. Oh, man. Viola Davis. I'd probably go with India. Really? Okay. Yeah. Ball heading on? I'm right there. Hey, man. You never know. She said she ain't her hair, so you know what it would be. And this has been another episode of Candy Kisses. Wait, that's it? That's it, baby. That's it? We, we keep it quick and short. Oh, man. Shoot, man. Well, for the record, I wouldn't kiss none of them. I, I got my lady. I'm happy. Come on, lady. You want to come over here and sit in this yeah. lap? Oh, my gosh. You might as well go ahead and make your debut. Yeah, you might as well. Come on over here, girl. <laughs> that's the reason why I ain't got no jacket on right now. Come on over here. Uh-huh. Keep it on. Go on. Shout out your Instagram and stuff. Hey, oh, I'm at Unique by Design. That's U N I I K by Design underscore. And Facebook, Cordy DeBose. Yes, that is his boo thing. Yeah. Make sure you check us out. Candy Kisses TV. We out of here. This comedian is Sugar King, and you watching Candy Kisses TV. Candy Kisses TV is sponsored by Kissable Lips Cosmetics.